Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Dr. El Sayad. I'm a radiology consultant in the UK and today I'm going to show you how to achieve 8 out of 8 when you're doing a Viva case. So this will be a radiograph that you'll be presented with initially as like a starter in your exam and you need to really make sure that you perform very well and score 8 out of 8. And the way you, you do this is you have to make sure that you describe the abnormality clearly and mention every associated abnormality make sure you also mention the exclusions so that you achieve the overall 8 out of 8 mark I'm gonna demonstrate to you how I would approach this in the exam to be able to achieve 8 out of 8 this is what I would say this is a frontal chest radiograph demonstrating a left upper zone oval irregular speculated lesion projected over the left first strip measuring approximately 3 by 2.5 centimeter with no cavitation or calcification is seen within it and there are no other satellite lesions or any other lesion in the right or left lung is seen I can't appreciate any bone destruction associated and there is no left or right pleural effusion is seen. There are no uh, perihilar, trochardic or paraspinal soft tissue abnormality and there are no uh, destructive bony lesion is identified. I can't see any abnormality below the hemidiaphragm, it's unremarkable cardiomedistinal contour and the heart is not enlarged. I'll also mention and say at this stage if the patient has had any previous imaging and if this is persistent from before then I would be really concerned and I would also ask if this patient has had any other uh, imaging after that. Since this has a speculated uh, border and is in the left upper zone at this stage and now you need to turn to the examiner and let him or her know that you are concerned about malignancy and that you would be initiating an immediate red alert uh, and notifying the unexpected cancer pathway so that this patient is referred to the lung MDT to be discussed and that you will be contacting the MDT coordinator to make sure this is discussed on the next MDT. So now you've demonstrated uh, that you spotted the abnormality, you've described it very well and you mentioned what you think it is and you acted on the abnormality by uh, contacting the MDT team and coordinator as well as referring the patient to the two-week pathway if the patient is not on that pathway already and also mentioning that you're going to generate an alert all these will help the examiner to identify that you are a safe doctor and you're aware of the system don't forget that as you enter the room they see you as a candidate and they really don't know where you're coming from you may be an internal candidate or overseas candidate they wouldn't know this until you start talking and then when you talk the appropriate way and describe the pathway that they are used to get more comfortable with you and this is what I was talking about in my first lecture, how to pass the FRCR from first time, is building a rapport and building a good communication connection with the examiner by showing them that you are a safe doctor and also that you're aware of the system that you're working in. This is a really important point. The second thing that you've noticed that I've given this lesion a size and this is based uh, on the fact that uh, vertebral transverse diameter is approximately 4 cm. So this looks like less than 4 cm. So I gave it 3 by 2.5 because it looks longer than wider. The second thing I've mentioned that there are no satellite lesion next to it. And there are no other focal lesions in the lung bilaterally. And this is really important. Then you went to kind of do a staging of this scan by mentioning that uh, there are no other uh, lung pathology and there are no hilar enlargement. And you also assured the examiner that you look through the review areas by looking in the retrocardiac space and paravertebral region to ensure that you have looked for lymph nodes and other satellite lesion in these hidden areas. I think you have to demonstrate to the examiner that you have not fallen into the trap of satisfaction of search and that you have found one abnormality you described it quickly and you left it otherwise this will never get you an eight and you need to get an eight on the first viva case and also trying to get eight in all other viva cases but the first one you should really nail and get eight and this will make you perform well it will make you feel better because once you've started the process by doing a case as you think you should have done it the way I demonstrated then you will feel more confident when you feel more confident this will drive you to go more and more and do even better on the following cases which could be more difficult than this first case if you need to look at how I generally approach chest radiograph please make sure that you check previous video which is called magnificent drill where I 
explained how you should go about checking chest radiograph so you didn't miss any significant pathology. I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you practice reading this radiograph many times and I, as I said in my previous lecture on passing FRCR first time, make sure that you record your voice listen to it make sure that you are changing your tone and that you are stressing on the abnormality the way i was doing try to do it even better than me by stressing on certain areas and listen to yourself the other alternative which i would also suggest that you could rec video record your approach to this case and then keep listening to it to see how you are interacting and how you're changing your voice tone and how you're changing your uh, body uh, language while you're tackling and answering this case i hope this was helpful if this was helpful please let me know in the comment box and if you need any other cases that you want me to go through please let me know so that i can uh, prepare it for you and go through it and help you to get eight out of eight in all viva cases if you really like this video please make sure that you like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get my next video and thank you